Hello all, welcome to Raj Informatica. Please subscribe my channel. If you like my videos, please like, comment and subscribe. Today's topic is stored procedure transformation in Informatica Power Center. Okay. So stored procedure is two types, connected, unconnected, and it's a passive transformation. It's a connected, unconnected, and it's a passive transformation. So before going to stored procedure, before going to stored procedure transformation, you need to understand what is stored procedure. What is stored procedure? Anybody? What is stored procedure? Anybody, what is stored procedure? See, in Oracle, in Oracle, we have two types. In Oracle, we have two types, SQL, PL SQL. SQL, PL SQL. Okay. So we know SQL concepts, but under PL SQL, we have, we have functions, we have cursors. These are the concepts, cursors. We have functions. We have functions. We have stored procedures. We have triggers, packages. Like that, like this, we have many things available, many objects available in PLS. Today we are learning about stored procedure transformation. So, what is a stored procedure in PLSQL? A stored procedure is a type of a SQL that will be stored and later we can execute it. Suppose you want to execute multiple statements again and again. You can put those multiple SQL statements in a stored procedure and you can execute again, again, again and again. Understood? Yes, please. So what, what exactly a stored procedure is? Stored procedure is a collection of SQL statements, like select statements, select with where, okay, order by, group by, all these things will be. So if you have multiple, multiple SQL statements, then we will put in the stored procedure and then we'll execute it wherever, whenever we want. We'll directly, instead of, suppose I have 10 SQL statements, I need to execute 10 times. Instead of that, I'll put that in, a, I will put that in a stored procedure and I will execute directly the post stored procedure whenever I want. One, whenever I want. Understood, please? Are you clear? What is stored procedure? Did you understand? Now, how to use a stored procedure transformation in Informatica Power Center? That is the concept. Everyone, are you able to hear me? Are you there, guys? Can you reply? Did you understand what is a stored procedure? Did you understand what is stored procedure? Yes. So I will take a scenario first. Then I will go to stored procedure. First, I will take a scenario. Then I will go to stored procedure transformation. Yes, please. So let's go to, let's go to a scenario. Okay. So how stored procedure transformation will work. Okay. Yeah. Suppose if you see, I have two tables. I have two tables. One second. Yeah. I have two tables. One is product category. Another one is product SRC. Yes, please. I have two sources product category and product SRC and I have a target called product stage. Yes, please. Yeah. Okay. Understanding everyone. So what I have, I have, I have product category and product source and I have a target. Now what I will do is the category and category ID and category name will come from source to target directly. So this is my source. This is my source one. Okay. So this is my source two. I will take this as a source. This is my source two. These two are sources. And this is a target. And this is a target. Understood? Everyone, are you clear, please? Understanding? So what is my requirement is, whatever the category ID and category name, it will come directly to target. Now what I want, it will check this category ID one will check here. 
Is category ID one exist in, in this table? Is category ID one exist in this table? In the broad SRC table? Yes, it is exist. If it is exist, group by the category ID and get the maximum price, minimum price, average price, sum of price. If this one exists in this target table, sorry, source table, what we will, what we need to do? We need to group by category ID and get the related maximum price for category ID one, minimum price for category ID one, average price for category ID one, sum of price for average category ID one. So is one exist? Yes. So what is the maximum price? What is the maximum price of category ID one? In this, what is the maximum maximum price? It's ninety thousand. Minimum price? Minimum price twenty thousand. Average price? Average is thirty one thousand. So three lakh ten ten thousand. Three lakh ten thousand. Sum is for category ID one only. Sum is three lakh one thousand. Three lakh ten thousand. Average is sixty two thousand. Correct? Understood? Everyone, are you clear, please? Now, category ID two is category ID two exist in the in the source table in broad SRC table? Is category ID two exist? Yes. Now, group by category ID, same things for category ID two. What is the maximum salary? Two lakh. What is the minimum salary? In the category ID two, what is the minimum salary? Thirty thousand. What is the average of salary in category ID two? Average is seventy eight thousand. What is the sum of the category ID two? Three lakh ninety thousand. Understood, everyone? Are you clear, please? Able to understand what I am saying? So I need to like a lookup, but it is not a lookup. I wanted to check whether product ID category ID exists. If it is exist, get the group by category ID and get maximum, maximum, minimum, some average. We will get it. This can be done by using stored procedure. First, if you want to use a stored procedure transformation in Informatica, you must create a stored procedure in, in database. In database, wherever this table. So I am writing a stored procedure on this table. This is my source table. This is my target table. This is another source table. I am doing a, I am creating a, I am writing a stored procedure on the source table called prod SRC. Understood? We need to write the stored procedure and execute in source schema because my prod SRC is in source schema. Now, what is the procedure? How the procedure look like? In Oracle, now I am telling about procedures in Oracle PLSQL. Procedures, PLSQL is a language. What is a procedure in PLSQL? Procedure is a collection of SQL statements. What is the syntax of procedure? Create or replace procedure, procedure name, parameters, in parameter, out parameter, declaration section, begin, end. This is a, this is a stored procedure syntax now take this as a source use this table in the source procedure and get the related value to target that is my requirement not only just get the related value group by and category id and uh, group by and category category id okay yes please group by and category id and get the max price mean price some price average price did you understand the requirement please did you understand the requirement? Anyone? Everyone? Everyone, did you understand the requirement? Okay, now see please. So first you should create this stored procedure in Oracle, in Oracle database source schema. So please observe the stored procedure. First what I will do? First I will import the stored procedure into Informatica. Then I will explain the stored procedure. If I explain, you might not understand now. So for your better understanding, what I will do, I will just import this stored procedure into 
informatica and i will show you okay so just some sql statement we have written okay so i have given the same thing in here take the first one now we are seeing connector stored procedure there are two types connector stored procedure and connector stored procedure we are taking connector stored procedure so go to your source source schema go to your source schema and execute this so first if i have i am dropping it drop procedure and i am recreating i am creating a procedure did i create procedure sp prod agg dropped sp prod agg compiled now how to check whether they are the whether they are you just disconnect and connect it under we have tables views indexes procedures correct here this procedure is visible yes please this procedure is visible here understanding everyone yes please so whatever the procedure item i just executed in where i just executed in source schema when i executed in source schema what happened i executed in source schema okay and procedure is created now we'll take the source and target what is my source prod category is my source my target is products dgt and one more source is prod src on this we have written the stored procedure so let's go to informatica power center we'll create a mapping m underscore target table name prod dgt connected stored procedure connected stored procedure yes please so i have already imported the source and target so i have the source product category in oracle source schema select class from products category i have in my source schema with four records with four records i have it yes please and i have the one more source called products src one more source called products src in my source schema only yes please okay so this is also here we have these many records correct we have 18 records we have 18 records in this and go to target go to target products dgt so i am just dropping it and recreating so this is my products dgt yes please now what i do i imported them source the targets so let's take the first source what is the first source product category so under otsr 014 product category import already you know how to import correct do you know how to import so prod catg take as a source take as a source now target what is my target products what is my target products tgt what is my target products tgt yes please take this so this is my source this is my target yes please understood guys everyone are you clear this is my source this is my target from source i want category id and category name directly correct from source i want category id and category name now we should calculate the max salary min salary sum of salary average of oh sorry sum max price min price sum of sum price and also average of price based on this source for the source to prod srp so i have created stored procedure already now what to do just import the stored procedure how to create a stored procedure go to transformation are you seeing import stored procedure you can just import it you cannot create any stored procedure in informatica if you want to use a stored procedure transformation create a stored procedure transformation in your database and import into informatica are you clear please understanding import stored procedure my stored procedure is schema my stored procedure is schema yes rc scheme my stored procedure is in yes rc scheme okay so here you write port yes rc level admin that procedure where is the procedure in which schema i executed is it in what yes rc level only 
let me create again just wait yeah so what is rc one i got the procedure correct prod sp prod agent click on open this is one way of creating procedure suppose you want to create one more procedure you can write it here you see here p of x the p of x is procedure stored procedure you just click on it again it'll ask you to import again you to import these are the two methods to create a stored procedure transaction clear guys understood everyone understanding now if you see the stored procedure we have one input port four output ports correct we have one input port four output ports how it has given i written a stored procedure in such a way create or replace stored procedure i am copy pasting in notepad plus plus how i have written please observe it's a program basically okay if you see this i written create or replace stored procedure procedure name sp prod agg okay stored procedure aggregate stored procedure okay product table aggregation i have taken in underscore country id input port one input port and four output ports category this is the column name column name in data type column name out data type column name out data type okay so now what i what i have done in the stored procedure first i declared one in, one input variable input parameter four output parameters correct one input parameter four output parameters that is why here also it is showing like that correct in the stored procedure transmission we have one input port and the four output ports yes or no do we have one input port and four output ports yes guys yes or no please do we have it or not yes yes so now what i will do okay after that what i am doing there is one input port in short procedure four output ports now what we are doing we are sending this category id to in underscore category id we are sending the category id to in underscore category id and getting this max price to mean price some price here understood like a look up like a look up first we will create an input port in short procedure no need to create input port we have see i just what i have done try to understand carefully i written a short procedure in source code in source schema it is it is already there it is already we it is already present now here i created based on my requirement one input port and multiple output ports you can take multiple output ports multiple input ports multiple output ports and multiple targets also you can multiple out also you can take it now what i have done i took one input port and four output ports that is why if you take the stored procedure if you take the stored procedure transformation it will ask you to import the stored procedure it will ask you to import the stored procedure once it is import the stored procedure what we need to do once it is import the stored procedure if you see category id to category id we will send because there is a matching column category id equal to category id and this max price to here yes please before doing that we need sum but how the sum will come see here i am sending category id from source to stored procedure select max of price mean of price average of price list uh, average of price okay this is just price not list price do we have list price just a price right we have what we have in uh, this one just a second let me see in dsc product src what we have we have list price or price let's see one second just a price just a price it is okay so it should be price one second let me take the correct uh, stored procedure yeah this one okay so this is the one i return yes please 
Yeah. You see this? What I am doing in this stored procedure? One input port. It will take input port from source. It will take category ID into procedure. Correct? It will take category ID into procedure. Once it took, we have written a query in the stored procedure. See, select max of price, min of price, average of price, sum of price into this will come to here. This will come to here. This will come to here. This will come to here from prod SRC where the category ID from this table is equal to this. If it is this, then calculate this and group by category ID. Understanding? Everyone? Did you understand? Yes, please. So what I am doing, I am sending the category ID. If it is matches, where category ID equal to in underscore category ID, which category ID from prod SRC? Category ID from prod category is equal to category ID from prod SRC. If it is equal, then calculate the max mean average price and put it into these, these things. Put it into these fields. And these fields, we will send it to target. Understood? These fields, we will send it to target. Are you clear, please? Understanding everyone? So like this, you can write n number of SQL queries here, whatever a complex SQL query also you can write. So that is the thing of stored procedure. Understood everyone? How stored procedure working? Stored procedure must have one input port, one output port. Okay. So one input port at least it should have. We have one input port, four output ports. While creating only we created like this. That is why it has created one input port, four output ports. Okay. Then what I want, if this category ID is exist in this, if the category ID is where category ID could in underscore category ID, then select max price, min price, average price, sum of price. Put these into these values, the, the values of these, put into these values from prod SRC where category ID equal to in underscore category ID, group by category ID. Understood, please? Are you clear? Yes, please. Understood, everyone? We have to create source table first, then we have to execute source procedure. Yes, correct. Yes. Yes. Okay. Understanding, everyone? Are you clear about short procedure? Now, if you double click on short procedure, go to properties. Here we have five types of short procedure. There are five types of short procedure. Target preload, target, target preload, target postload, source preload, source postload. That is not required. Just we require normal. Load. Okay. So we are sending, we are sending category ID to stored procedure. Category ID has written a category. This stored procedure is written a PLSQL program. PLSQL program, that is a stored procedure, which is having category ID as in and four columns as out. Okay, based on this, it will directly take it and just connect it. Understood? Are you clear, please? Did you understand stored procedure transmission? So you cannot directly write a stored procedure in Informatica. You have to write the stored procedure in Oracle and execute it how I executed. And I executed how I executed. Yes, please. Clear, guys? Understanding? Everyone, are you clear? So now, see why we will use stored procedure normally. Suppose there is a, in Informatica, it is complex to, it is taking so much time. Suppose I am using 10 transformations or 5 transformations. It is taking so much of time in Informatica. So then with those 5 columns, you can create a stored procedure. And we can do easily by using stored procedure. And the performance will be improved when you use stored procedure. Are you clear? Yes, please. Understood everyone? So this is our stored procedure. Okay. Now, any doubts in stored procedure, please? It's very simple. The only thing is, in real time, this, this stored procedure will be very rarely used. Out of my 12 years experience, out of my eight projects, I worked only in one project, stored procedure. I worked only in one project, stored procedure. Okay. So, but in resume, if you put stored procedure and all, it will be a good weightage. And also, they, they may ask interview questions also. Are you clear, please? 
Understood? Select max price, min price, average price, sum of price into max price. So into these things from product SRC, the source table, second source table, where category is coming from source is equal to category ID from store procedure, then group by category ID. Understanding? Everyone? Clear about it? So that I executed in, that I executed in Oracle database and I imported a stored procedure and I connected it. That's it. So this is my stored procedure. So now what I will do, you can do without stored procedure also. How to do the same mapping without stored procedure? How to do the, how to do the mapping without stored procedure? Look up and aggregator. Exactly. Look up and aggregator. Either you can, there are three ways. Either you can join them by using source qualifier, then aggregator, then target. Or look up on, uh, look up on prod SRC, look up on prod SRC and get the related value to aggregator from aggregator to target. Understood? See, the importance of, you can write any SQL code here. Whenever we are unable to achieve them, achieve anything from Informatica, our Informatica performance is less, then we'll go for stored procedure. Understood? So now I'll create a session workflow. Any, any doubts guys? Stored procedure? Connected stored procedure? Any doubts? Connected stored procedure? Are you clear please? Did you understand clearly about stored procedure please? Everyone guys? Did you understand clearly about stored procedure? So generate the workflow. Next. Next. Okay. Next, next, finish. Now go to workflow manager. See the connections. What is the mapping name? Product TGT. Product TGT. CON. Product TGT. Where is ours, guys? I mean, batch 19 morning only. The mapping name is S underscore M underscore. S underscore M underscore products. Products TGT. Are you able to not find? One second, please. Wait. I'll create again. Let me disconnect it. There is above unconnected. Do we have? WF underscore products TGT. Are you finding anywhere, guys? Okay. Let me. What I will do, I'll create the workflow manually. I'll create a session workflow. Disconnect and connect. I disconnect and connected, right? I did not. I did not disconnect and connect. Products TGT. Yeah, this one, right? Products TGT SP. Okay, open this. Now open the session. Open the session. Source. You give the source connection. Target. I give in the target connection. Source is source connection. Target is target, target connection. Then store procedure. Which transformation? Not this one, guys. This is also not. M underscore products TGT. CON and SP. This one. This is our mapping. These are okay. Yeah. So open this mapping. Source OTS is the one. Target OTS is the one. Bulk to normal. Now we need to give the connection for stored procedure also. Stored procedure exists in this schema. This stored procedure exists in this schema. 
which is schema source schema it is existing source schema so what we should do open this the connection use object give the source schema rl ots rc dev yes please apply when you apply to show when you apply to show same so give the truncate load option maybe morning or yesterday i already done this okay and give it truncate table option okay now run it start workflow failed good i like when it is failed why it is failed it is invalid just uh, disconnect and connect see it is it is showing that uh, some some error so at, at the time what you do you drop and recreate again you drop and recreate the stored procedure again this will go disconnect and connect till it is i know this is now now run it now run this it's still running about it it's still running about it and run again okay yes okay let's rerun again rerun restart now it will succeed is it succeeded is it succeeded please Yes, guys. Now check the target table. Check the target table. Select star from products TGT. You got it. You got the records. You did get it. Yes, please. So this is how you have to use the stored procedure transformation. So you can execute the stored procedure transformation in Oracle also. Instead of executing the stored procedure in SQL Developer. so by using you can execute the stored procedure transformation by using exec procedure name and arguments but instead of executing in oracle we are creating a stored procedure in oracle and we are calling from informatica understood that is what we are doing are you clear about connected stored procedure did you understand are you clear about connected stored procedure everyone any doubts please how to validate short procedure if you execute it see if you have any suppose i am i am creating one more short procedure suppose let's say suppose let's create a some other short procedure with uh, some some other name suppose i am writing some wrong i am writing a wrong short procedure a wrong shit if you execute it will only show here if you execute see yes it is it is when you execute okay when you execute it what will happen if it is wrong then it will show the error here only if it is executed successfully then if it is executed successfully then you may, you might have understand that it is correct are you clear if it is not correct it will only show understood please how to validate while creating only it will it will show clear are you clear please so this is about connected stored procedure so the next one unconnected stored procedure unconnected stored procedure transformation for that i have one more stored procedure i written so this is a stored procedure same but i am taking only max of price instead of taking max min average sum output port i will take only max of price only one input port one output port that's it so this is another stored procedure unconnected just a name i am creating it it is created it is created same source same target will take it same source same target m underscore uh, products m underscore what is the target table name products tgt un okay but here i am taking different target table source sources are same but target is different sources are same but target is different this is my target table products tgt you are here here i given here you please see this is unconnected this is source one source and second source and target is having only three columns category id category name max price same again it will it will show it will take it okay it will take it if it is available 
then get the maximum value to target. Then get the maximum price to target. Understood? So this is the stored procedure. So what I'll do, I will create the stored procedure I created already. Now I will, I have the target already. M underscore, my stored procedure name is, my target table name is, this is the target table name. Let me take the target table name. My target table is products TGT unconnected. Products TGT unconnected. Stored procedure, unconnected stored procedure. Okay, take the same source. Take the same source. That is category. What is the source name? Product category. Product category. And target. Target is. What is my target table name? My target table name is products TGT UM. Products TGT UM. Yes, please. Now, like connected, unconnected, like connected, unconnected lookup. Same way we will use connected, unconnected post stored procedure. Same way we will use connected, unconnected stored procedure. Yes, please. We we know connected lookup, unconnected lookup. Yes or no, please. Do we know connected lookup, unconnected lookup? Yes, guys. Yes. Same way. We have it unconnected. To use unconnected short procedure, you must use the expression. Send to expression, category, category name. Send it to target. Now, now, I will create one. Are you able to hear me? Everyone able to hear me? Now what I will do, I will create one output port O underscore max price. O underscore max price. Okay. That is number. That is number. Okay. O underscore max price. Output port. Now what I will do, I will import the short procedure. Same, same way. Go to transformation. Import short procedure. Connect it. This is the unconnected short procedure. Okay, this is my unconnected short process. Okay, so source, source qualifier, expression. Now here, what I will write, open this, open this. You like core and LKP, you will write, right? Core and LKP lookup transformation, same way. Remove this, stored procedure under functions, double click on it. Core and SP dot, stored procedure name. What we need to send inside the stored procedure? What we are sending inside the short procedure? What we need to send? Category ID. Category ID, comma. If you validate it just category ID, it will give error. You must give one thing called proc result, procedure result. This is syntax. Proc result. If you validate, see, you need to send the input for category ID. And also this is syntax proc result. So what it will do now, it will send the category ID to stored procedure through this function. Through this function, it will send category ID. Whichever it is, if it is exist, and it will execute the stored procedure internally in the database, and the output field will come to proc result one. That will be stored in max price. Now connect max price to here. Understood everyone? Are you clear please? So the syntax here is, you should write category ID, comma proc result. This is the syntax. Proc result is the same. You should write proc result only. If you write anything, it will not work. This is my unconnected stored procedure. Are you clear, please? It's very simple. You can call n number of times. In expression, you can call n number of times about the unconnected stored procedure. Are you clear, please? Did you understand? Unconnected stored procedure? Yes. Unconnected stored procedure will return only one value. Connected stored procedure can return multiple values. Connected stored procedure can return multiple values. Max price, min price. But unconnected stored procedure will, will send, can send only one value. Only one value. Now, create a session workflow for this. Create a session workflow. Yes, please. 
So this stored positive transformation, SQL transformation, Java transformation, XML transformation, all these things are rarely used. But if you keep in your resume, these things, if you showcase in your resume, your resume will be easily shortlisted. Okay, that's why I'm telling Power Center also. Okay, yes, please. So now go to workflow manager, disconnect and correct. Disconnect and correct. What is the mapping name? M products TGT. S underscore M underscore products TGT. Unconnected stored procedure. This is all correct. Unconnected stored procedure. Same, give the connections. Same way you give the stored connections, please. So this is my source, my target. OT TGT Dev 1. OT TGT Dev 1. Yes, please. Then bulk to normal. Bulk to normal. How to generate the workflow? You don't know how to generate the workflow? Go to mappings. Generate workflow. Select any option. Use a middle option. Click on next. Give WF underscore yes. Next, next finish. That's it. Otherwise, you can do whatever you want. Okay. Yes, please. Now here, if you see, okay, here give the truncatable option because I have loaded already, maybe. So under now, stored procedure. What is the connection for stored procedure? What is the connection for stored procedure? Source connection. So take this, take this, okay. OTSRC Dev1, until you apply, it will not show you. Apply, okay, save it. Now start it. It will load. When you start, it will load. It is loaded four records. Check the target. This is my target. Is it loaded? Category ID, category name, max price. Did you understand? But in real time, where exactly we will use this stored procedure? Normally, in real time, we will use stored procedure to drop and recreate indexes. We will use stored procedure to perform a calculation, specialized calculation by using SQL queries. To check the status of target database before you load it, whether your target database up or not, to check the status, you can check. Determine the space exists or not in the database, we can use this stored procedure normally in real time. Normally we'll use for this purpose, to drop and recreate the indexes. Are you clear? Understood? Yes, please. I did not complete the document. That's why I did not send you. Once I complete the document, I will send you. Okay. Yes, please. When we will call text in short procedure, text means, what is text means? Text means, what is the text means? I did not understand. So you need to send input ports. How many input ports? My short procedure is having only one input port. Only one input port. That's why I'm sending only one. And proc result is used only in unconnected short procedure. Are you clear? Yes, please. Clear about it? Yeah. So this and all will be used by administrator. Okay. So you no need to you don't need to worry about it. Just you should understand what is stored procedure, what are the types of stored procedure, how to use the stored procedure, how to call it. Did you understand? Are you clear about stored procedure, please? Clear. This is all about today's topic. I hope you got good information from my videos. For more information, please subscribe my channel, like and comment on my videos. Thank you. Thank you.